Hey guys, Stefan Fleet here. I am visual effects supervisor on the Amazon TV show, The Boys. We are here in Toronto working on season two of The Boys, but I'm not here to talk about that. I am here to talk about two things put together that have made life really, really awesome in the last week. And that is the Focus app for the iPhone and also this, the iPhone 11 Pro, and I have the Max version, the bigger one. So I'm not really gonna go in depth into the phone. There's a lot of videos out there about the features of the phone and how it has the wide angle camera and does the great low light. You guys all know that by now. The camera is amazing, the colors are amazing. I am specifically gonna show you how this phone works with the Focus app. You don't need this phone to use the Focus app. You can do a lot of things without it. So if you're not super, super huge into photography and you just like to do photos for fun and stuff like that, it may not be worth the money. But if you are really into photography, I think this phone is definitely worth the money. So let's take a look at focus. Here it is on the top of my phone. Oh, I'm gonna have to blur out some of these images because they're behind the scenes images from my show that you're not allowed to see yet. You're gonna have to wait for season two, everybody. Here we are. Becca is cutting out and making a lot of her awesome dragon bags. That's what you're seeing right here. But you can see right out of the gate with the latest update of focus, it's like 2.0 something, a little bit over 2.0. You can see that you can access all three lenses, which is a huge update. It used to be on my old iPhone, you could only use the portrait mode, which was this, the two times lens, that was it. Now you can use the mid-range lens, you can use the telephoto lens, and you can even use the wide angle lens. And I'm gonna get back to that in a second. All right, so in and of itself, the photo features are great. This is an image I took of this really cool bag that my wife Becca right behind me made. A little homage to Stranger Things season three. You can see that if I tap on the bag, it's in focus. I can blur the background. I can also tap on the background and make the bag go out of focus. You tend to want to have your foreground in focus. But this is a really cool photo. You can even see just with the new cameras and the new color on the iPhone 11 that the colors without any correction look really great. So this was shot in the telephoto mode, this particular image, and this is all you would have gotten out of an iPhone 10 and above until the 11. Now you can also go and you can shoot on the standard size lens. And you can even shoot on the wide angle lens, but that photo is not in this menu. And the reason for that is something new that's come out in Focus 2.0. And this is the biggest, most awesome feature that's come out in a long time for this app. You can now change the depth of field. You can control the focus on any photo, not just photos taken in portrait mode or in the, on the telephoto lens. You can actually change focus on photos that weren't even taken on your phone. You can upload photos from your DSLR or another phone or anything. So if you go into images and you look down here, instead of saying portrait photos, if you go to all photos, it shows you every single photo in your library. And here you can see I took a photo on the wide angle lens. So I love this wide angle lens on this phone. You can get so many interesting photos. When I shoot with my mirrorless, I often shoot with a 16 to 35 millimeter lens or my 35. Those are on the wider end of the spectrum. This is really wide. You can get so many cool landscape opportunities. You can also do some pretty interesting portraiture or, or focus on some subjects in your photos. But what you won't get is a lot of depth of field. And when this camera takes a photo out of the gate, everything's gonna be in focus on a wide angle lens, which is pretty normal. However, when you go into any photo that's not a portrait photo in focus, it runs some algorithms on that photo using photogrammetry to help derive the depth of field. That sounds a little complicated, but basically he's developed a new way to do the same thing that he's doing without relying on the portrait stuff in the iPhone. And it's almost as good. It's not quite as good, but it's almost as good. What that's gonna let me do is take a wide angle photo like this, focus on the bag, and you can see I can crank it up and I can even start defocusing the background on a wide angle photo. Now, for my sensibility, that's too much defocus in the background. That starts looking like something that a DSLR or a mirrorless camera couldn't do, or it would have to have like the world's fastest lens. But if you bring it down just a little bit, you can see that you can draw focus. And if you just hold down, if you hard press, you can do an AB. You can see that I can draw focus to the bag by defocusing the background a little bit. And I think this is really, really, really cool. So when you take photos with focus on the wide angle lens, you'll notice that on the 1X or the 2X, it says portrait mode. If I go to the 0.5, it puts a line through portrait mode, letting me know that it's using this other type of math to figure out the focus, but it still works really well. Even if I just take a photo of my laptop here. There you go, I took a really great photo just now of my laptop with the wide angle lens and I added some depth of field. It looks super good. You can hit this top button here to save out a JPEG. It's pretty great, guys. I mean, you can literally get 
any photo. This is a photo I brought up that I took on my Sony a7 III using a 35 millimeter f1.8 lens. You can see that I can bring that into focus and I can still adjust the depth of field here. So I could make it even more blurry than what I shot on my, my high-end camera using a really expensive lens. That's it's pretty cool. So my camera died on me and it's a little bit later, but that's okay. I was pretty much done with the video anyway. The uh, point was just to take a look at focus on the new iPhone 11 and all the new features that focus has with that phone. It's all about that wide angle lens to me and the fact that you can now use any photo in the focus app, which is awesome. I'm gonna do some more tests. Stay tuned. If you like this channel, subscribe down below or give me a like. See you later.